What's up, guys? James Carter TV, and I'm here to recap the BCS National Championship game. Yes, that's right. I'm finally doing some college football. But before I begin this video, make sure to click right up there in that corner to subscribe for more videos. And if you have a Twitter, make sure to follow me on Twitter at James Carter TV. But that said, let's get into this game and mainly just the last drive because the last drive was absolutely amazing. But before we get to the last drive, let's let's set it up. Let's talk about what happened during the entire game. And it was a game in which the Florida State offense, defense, everything, special teams. They did not look like they were ready for this moment. They looked like they, this, the, the, the lights were way too bright for them. And, you know, uh, you know, oh, no, they, they didn't seem like they were ready for this moment. It didn't seem like Jimbo Fisher got them ready. They seemed nervous. They seemed out of whack. They weren't ready. Uh, they weren't prepared. And, and, you know, but they settled down. Later on, they settled down. But still, they started off with a deficit of 21-3, to 18-point deficit, usually in the BCS championship. When a team goes up by 18 points, that's it. It's over. There's never been a comeback by more than I believe they said uh, 14 points ever in BCS Championship history. And whenever a team leads at halftime in BCS Championship history, that team goes on to win the game. So, uh, but the, all those all those statistics, all those records was all blown out of the water in the last BCS Championship game because we all know next year they're going to the playoff format. So. What a way to go out. I mean, what a way to go out. Like I said, Auburn was up 21-3. to Trey Mason, again, had a had a great game. I mean, I think this guy's going to be special in the next level. I know some people have reservations about his height, but look at Ray Rice. Ray Rice is the same height as this guy. Ray Rice obviously being, you know, a bit bulkier. Um, but, you know, I mean, I think he's very good. Trey Mason, I think whoever gets him, hopefully my team, which means he's fans, I think he's going to be special. And he should go out. I mean, honestly, I don't. I, running backs is the last position where you should stay at your position because one hit, boom, your ACL is blown out. You're out of here. So go out, Trey Mason. But Jameis Winston. I mean, let's talk about the famous Jameis and that last drive, shall we? I mean, might as well get to it. Um, you know, Jameis Winston. <laughs> you already know he's supposed to be um the next the number one overall pick next year if he decides to come out, uh, which I believe he will. I mean, he already won a national championship. What else does he have to prove? Uh, I mean. This guy, it is time. It, it was time for Jameis Winston to produce um, on that last drive. Okay, you're down by four points. You're down, what was it, 27? Uh, no, no, 31 to 27. I mean, come on. Hey, it's time to play. It's time to prove your worth. And he did that. He entirely did that. Very Vince Young-esque. For those of you who remember that, Rose Bowl against USC. Except Vince Young obviously was the underdog for the state, was the favorite to win this game. But... You know, I, still, I mean, this is a big time drive uh, by Jameis Winston and NFL teams. I know they were, they, you know, they, they had their little lotion and Vaseline and they were, you know, a storm out there because they, they loved every second of it. I loved every second of it. How exciting was this? You got two straight duds for national championship games. Alabama just decided to blow everyone out. Now we got a great game, a great finish indeed. Auburn's miracles finally ran out. God said, no, 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 no more. Uh, I gave you guys enough miracles. Unfortunately, it's not enough. But it seemed as if they got another one when Trey Mason got that touchdown with one, I believe, like, what was it, 119 left? It seemed as if, you know, they got that miracle. And then Florida State, Levante uh, Whitfield, remember, he got that, uh, that, that crucial kick return for a touchdown when they were up 24, when they were down 24 to 20, that touchdown, that uh, kick six, uh, if you like to call it that, that touchdown put Florida State, uh, Florida State up 27-24. But then Auburn went right down the field, scored a touchdown, but too much time left on the clock for famous Jameis. And he went down the field, uh, obviously helped out by his receivers, Rashad Green and Kellen Benjamin, two guys who did not show up today throughout the first three quarters of the game. But they finally showed up when they had to. Jameis Winston finally showed up when he had to. And because of that, the Knowles. The Florida State Seminoles are your BCS champion. So what are your thoughts on that? Comment down below at James Carter TV. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at James Carter TV if you haven't already. And I will be back on Wednesday to, rec uh, to make my divisional round predictions for the NFL. Until next time, James Carter TV. I'm out. Peace, man. This Jameis Winston guy is just, I love him. I mean, I wish my team could get him, but we're worried about quarterback this year, not next year. Wow. Jameis Winston. Famous. Squinton, Jameis, Winston. That's it. All right, I'm out. Peace.